Hello and welcome back. You are gaming with me, Brothgar, and I got some more Loadout action for you. Now today, Loadout 3.0 has just come out, and that has changed some of the game mechanics itself, and also introduced some new parts. So, let's head on over to Weapon Crafting. I'm going to show you some of the new builds I got going on, and we're going to be revisiting some of the old builds that I have now actually already tested, but now this update has changed some things. So, if we come on over here to Weapon Crafting, obviously I got Gats Broth and I got beam broth and lack of my gun so let me let me show you the loadouts because that's actually gonna make a lot more sense this is kind of my standard build here one thing we will notice though is that the mortar improvements I think it's like a 5% reload speed and then a slight damage buff that has been removed because it wasn't really necessary for that weapon because it was awfully powerful to begin with so I'm gonna see how that weapon actually works out now post update and also twin broth here which is the pulsar sniper rifle so the snipe uh, barrel and headshot has actually been adjusted and we're actually going to see that at use and i know twin broth is a powerful weapon that i actually showed in a video way before i believe it was easy two shot kill pulse sniper rifle because it literally just takes two shots no matter where you hit the player and now that your projectiles travel a little bit faster it should be a little bit more effective like my gun is a light assault weapon so we'll be taking a look at that i'm going to be showing you what that is and then i also have a beam broth which was a build that i ran back in the day and it was where i tested two separate beam rifles and then i hot swapped between them the reload mechanic has actually been removed off of that loadout so that's actually kind of crazy. You don't actually hold the reload button to make it recharge. And I'm not so sure I like that. And then also when you put it into your backpack or basically you swap to the secondary weapon, it only cools off at 50% rate, not 100% rate. So I'm going to have given that a shot. I've adjusted the weapon a little bit. So let's head on the weapon crafting here. And we already know most of these weapons like Brim Broth and then Gats Broth by now. But let's go ahead and take a look at like my gun because it's LMG. Get it? <laughs> Yeah, anyhow, let's customize that. And it is compact because I thinking I'm thinking almost LMG in this case when I'm pairing it with a sniper pulsar rifle is actually going to be more of a closer range, not real close range, but it's going to be like medium to close. And then I have the iron sights, I'm not really doing anything fancy there. The LMG barrel, which has a longer range but a little bit slower rate of fire than maybe your assault barrel. It's kind of interesting. It's a, it's, it's filling a niche, and we're gonna see how effective it is. It does push out a lot of damage, especially with the semi-auto trigger. And we're talking about shell loading here, rather than high capacity or standard. We are talking shell loading, and then I have semi-auto trigger, which makes it 31.64 damage in this current configuration. If I was going to go full auto, I drop a lot of damage off that weapon, but I do gain in the rate of fire. But I don't, I don't feel like that's how I gotta use it. So let's head on over here into the test range I'm going to show you LMG or like my gun at any rate yeah it's only got 15 bullets but each one look at that 31 damage 32 damage 32 damage and I do have kind of an interesting mechanic on the weapon here I have skipping which I've never used before but it has become less erratic since the latest update so it doesn't just bounce all over the place like a football or something like that and I'm talking about an American football and um because I know we got people all over the world watching these videos nowadays. Um, I'm missing terribly right there. But the idea is that I'm going to give it a shot and see how it actually works out. It does 30 damage. 25 to 32 it looks like. So it is definitely, definitely a strong weapon. As opposed to my twin broth here. Which, just in case you guys haven't seen this, maybe haven't watched all my videos so far. If I go over here, I want to go to the test range here. This will do 40% damage to a leg. 50% damage to the body and 94 damage to the head and I am actually going to be pairing this up with buff grenades so that should be a one-shot kill if I aim for the head with this rifle and I feel like that's going to be a pretty good equipment slash pulsar rifle setup now both of these are shell loading so that's going to be kind of interesting but that's kind of the build I want to be focusing on tonight now, as far as the weapons go, this, the beams here, these are the other things that have changed. So let's go ahead and customize this, show you what I got going on real quick here. I haven't gotten too deep into the beam section of the game because it's not really my thing. Standard stock, I'm going to go with the recon scope because I'm using it with a turret. And I feel like if I can aim at the same target that the turret is aiming at, since the scope does increase the range of the turret, 
I feel like I can really drop an enemy there a lot quicker. Barrel is going to be snipered. Um, I'm not actually testing the LMG for that barrel. Full auto trigger, heat sink, and then the actual round is just plain slug itself. So let's go into the test range here and just aim down. Ah, I can't really tell. You see how I don't have to reload anymore? It just kind of reloads at a medium speed as opposed to it, that it did before. You know, I wasn't a big fan of holding the reload button, but I kind of miss having that like effect of the game. I kind of wish I could just hit the reload button and then it would go into a cooling mode um, rather than just kind of have it just cool by itself. But you know, I kind of, I understand. We'll see how this works out. I wouldn't be surprised if they adjust the beam weapons again in the next big update here because they added this thing where the, the beam has kind of a sweet spot and then it drops damage both farther away and closer from that sweet spot and it's it's kind of hard to understand where that sweet spot is. See, I just went from four. Now I'm doing seven and eights, or maybe I'm hitting head. Seven, six, six. So we can see how I had seven sixes there. Four. I dropped down lower. It's really kind of hard to predict what kind of damage you're going to get out of these beam weapons. Well, now we're going up again. Hang on. <laughs> there, there's no real specific details out there of how the beam weapons are really working right now. I'm sure somebody's trying to break that down, and there's going to be like a big form post if I were to go searching for it. But I know they've kind of made some adjustments to the beam weapons themselves. If I can get a longer shot here. Come on. Five, seven, nine. Okay, well, anyhow... <laughs> that seems more effective the farther away I was, um, which kind of makes sense for a sniper rifle to a point. At any rate, that's the beam weapons now. At first, I was kind of thinking they're a little bit less powerful. Now that I'm starting to understand kind of what's going on here with the beam weapons, I feel like you just kind of got to pick your barrel more, more in the however you want to actually play. If you're going to be shooting up close, you may not want to go with a sniper rifle like I got going on here, but actually be shooting long range. And so I think the barrel is actually going to be adjusting that sweet spot as well as kind of adjusting the rate of fire and stuff like that. There's definitely some stuff to be looking into the beam weapons, so that'll be more later. But at any rate, that is beam broth, and I'm going to be using twin beam broths here and hot swapping it in some matches. Another thing that has changed is the whole sort of ranked and unranked. So you have casual now, and it's going to fill in like with peoples and then bots if somebody drops out. So it should be a nice even battle that you can pretty much just jump in and jump out all day long. And I'm kind of a fan of that. I like the cool casual aspect to it. Ranked here, you have to kind of play a few matches once you get to level 10 to get ranked. And then if, once you get ranked, you can actually go to your player and see what tier you're on. So let's go take a look at that real quick. All right, so here is the rank tree itself. It is under locker. And then you go over to the ranked tab itself. You have to play a few matches before you are actually ranked. And then they have five levels here. So you got like bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and then plutonium if you are at the top. So it's one of those things that's actually going to be kind of cool. It's going to be interesting to see how that all works out and where people are starting to rank. I wonder well, I will actually rank. I know that I am now level 20, so I'm kind of yeah, I'm moderately experienced now. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see there. I'll probably be posting a video on getting ranked where it's just going to be me playing those 12 matches and seeing out where I come out on top, maybe. At any rate, enough blah, let's head on over into some matches and see how these weapons work out. As you can see here, the voting has changed, so a lot of people are voting for Jackhammer. I might as well, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go Extraction, because nobody's gonna ever play Extraction. Maybe I'll go Blitz. Nope. Nope. Looks like we're gonna be playing Jackhammer. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and try out Twin Broth and Lock My Gun. Alright, so we're spawning off here next to the flag. And we're just going to see how this goes. Starting off with Twin Broth right off the bat. Should probably start off with Like My Gun. Come on! Skipping rounds! <laughs> can I remember to reload? These are shell loading, so I can actually do that quite alright. Oh no, I'm not hitting anybody! 
<laughs> Woo! You make them connect, those are deadly. Come on, like my gun, fool. <laughs> oh, skip taking that out. Ooh, that is interesting. See, I got lucky there. I missed the target, but the skipping round still connected. Interesting, interesting stuff. I'm going to make sure I top off my health here. I've heard rumors as far as the dev like streams that they're actually going to go back and revisit where all these um, different weapons are located. Or, sorry, not. I'm talking about the healing and then the actual equipment locations but shields have been adjusted as well they're shorter basically they nerfed them <laughs> oh yeah oh I'm skipping them I should be running twin here nope 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 that was all my bad there fail on shots I should have connected with those I was boosted and everything let's make sure I can boost up real quick Nope, I thought there was baddie around. They have increased the amount of time between the actual buff and then when it starts to wear off. Apparently. It looks like it's wearing off real quick, though. Come on. Ah. This weapon does kind of suffer to hit at longer ranges just because you have to lead the target so much. Then again, it is a double shot kill if you can make them connect. So I'm going to have to get used to figuring out what rangers I'm going to run here. This is... Oh! Ah. Ah. Well, I was just shooting wildly there. I am not a very good sniper. I have not played very much sniper in this game. Something i got to work on, but then again... I've never really been too terribly interested in the sniper rounds themselves. Oh, double shot. Try to pick him out. This guy's going to heal me to death. Nope, somebody else is there. I really should have kept moving. That was not a smart choice. But I wanted to see my weapon work. And it did. It did work. One, two. <laughs> and what up, twin bra? Uh, let's go ahead and throw down throw down a little buffs on this guy oh I was able to block some shots that's at least worth something huh just kind of throwing rounds down using that skipping to my advantage here yeah yeah Good job. I really just kind of played interference there a little bit. Not much. Hard to see what was going on on their screen. I knew what I was going for. <clears throat> Come on. It's hard to get used to skipping. The enemy has stolen the hammer. It's just kind of like getting used to mortar. It's definitely going to be beneficial if I can figure it out. But, until then, you're going to have to plan the shots, too. Nope, nope. Plan your shots. Come on, Brothgar. Get a little faster than the game. I'm trying to make use of this. <laughs> Committed suicide. Whoa, got to be careful of that, too. I guess those skipping rounds can definitely backfire if you're a little bit too gung-ho. Let's go ahead and try the double beam here. Since we have turrets now, we should be able to do some effective stuff here real quick. Yeah! Come on, buddy. Woo! What up? How you like beams? Oh, yeah. I got more where that came from. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get health? Well, guess what? I still got beams. More beams. <laughs> 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 
Uh, well, that didn't really work as well as I thought it was going to, but... Your team has dropped the hammer. Darn it! He's still got more health than I do. Oh, this isn't going to be working out for us. Oh, he's going to get greedy. That's not going to work for him. <laughs> See? Oh, no. Yeah, how you like that? Oh, well, that didn't work. Come on, team. Come on, team. You can do it. You can do it. Anybody else? Wow, that was impressive. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, we're gonna score. Good job. Oh. Your team has captured the hammer. The sniper up there. Get the snipers. Your team has taken the hammer. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this isn't good. Whoa, roll out of it. No health there. Oh, I caught that one, didn't I? Darn it. Well, let's go ahead and try Brim Broth and Gats Broth just for the sake of seeing how the mortars work out now that they've been debuffed ever so slightly. Well, you survived, but you didn't survive that. <laughs> Ah. The enemy has stolen the hammer. Oh, uh, what's up? You think you're gonna survive? Hey hey. Oh man. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Just nothing good like a, a simple machine gun. It just works out every time. What isn't working out is my health. Woo! <laughs> oh, you're still kicking around? Yeah, well, I'll take you out too. Well, this combination definitely still works. There was a debuff. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm noticing it. Yep, still working. Yeah. Ah, see, that's why I run that combo. It's just me. Anybody got a trap? Nope. Yeah, this is gonna have to work out here. This is gonna be tough. The enemy has stolen the hammer. Oh no. I see where this is going. We're going to trade. I'm gonna have to try to make it go. The enemy has <laughs> the oh, there you go. Just do it early. Do it early. The enemy has stolen the hammer. Shoot. Are you serious right now? That's not good. Oh, oh. Well, that is very depressing right there. Very depressing. I am I'm not happy. So I'll take it out on this guy. Where are you going? You jumping again? Yeah. Oh, yeah, do try. Nope, I still got this combo. Oh. oh, I really needed that. That's not gonna work. 
But we're still in the lead. Oh, that was bad. Hey, hey, we won it. Well, a couple of thoughts there. The like my gun was okay. It was really kind of hard to get used to the skipping aspect of it. And then the twin broth is still definitely effective. But then again, I wasn't having any good luck with it. Beam swapping, hot swapping still works out. Throw in a turret and you got some sort of crazy little defense going on there. You can go ahead and check out some of those videos that you saw before just to kind of see how effective those could be and get in a little bit more depth. The mortar still working just about as good as it was before. Maybe a little bit less. I might adjust the actual barrel on it so I get more of that sweet spot that you can actually hit and do more damage for the... Uh, I guess what I'm saying is the actual maximum damage sort of fear area increased by 10%. So I think I'm going to focus less on doing a wider area of damage and focus more on doing a smaller area of damage for more. And then, uh, you know what, we're just going to see how Loadout 3.0 continues to progress here. If you got a weapon build that you want me to try, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And if I got the bluets to do it, I'll definitely give it a shot. And since we can now stack the XP, apparently, and the bluets double, I'm not sure if you can actually stack them one on top of each other or you stack the time, but that's in the actual you know, build itself. So that's something else that's new. I should be able to get more bluets is what I'm saying here. As always, guys, stay awesome. Peace. Brothgore out. 350. Could have given me 450. That would have been nice. And manual trigger here. Now, manual trigger is something that I tested a little bit. I tried proximity and then tried putting pyro on this and I just wasn't as satisfied with it. Manual really allows you to dial in where that impact is going to happen or where that explosion is going to happen rather than proximity, which just kind of blows up when you get close. You can do more damage if you can time manual just right. So if we go ahead...